Welcome back to Newsmakers. My name is Jess Todd Feld. We're coming out of a massive recession, and people are looking for jobs. Which brings me to my next guest. Her name is Ginny Clark. She is president and CEO of Talent Optimization Partners out of Chicago. Welcome, by the way. Thank you. She also has a book on the way, and that is the upcoming career mapping, charting your course in the new world of work. We need some charting. We do. And you're going to give us the map. I am. You are the map person. So let's start. We know people are out there. People are looking for jobs now. Right. Plenty of people are looking for jobs. By the way, give us a quick background. I sure. know you have an extensive experience going in many, many directions. I Just do. give that to us. Surely. I um, came out of um, Riverside, California, actually. I was a college recruiter. Yes. Uh, coming out of college, I worked a couple years in banking after my MBA, 10 years in commercial real estate, 12 years as an executive recruiter, and I quit my job in 2009 to yeah. finish writing this book and to consult to corporations and to individuals on jobs and careers. So it's safe to say you sat and gave many an interview. Many an interview. Many thousands, an interview. Literally thousands. And, and somewhere along the line you started saying, you know what, people need the tools. I, I guess they made some of the same mistakes over and over. They sure did. So let's jump right into, let's what go the for mistakes? the juicy part, the mistakes. Yeah. What, what are people doing the, wrong? The biggest one is people go without a plan. They don't have a map. There's no guide. So they just start shooting off resumes. They start applying to jobs online. They don't have a strategy. So people would hand me their resume, for an example, and say, what do you think? And I'd say, what do you want me to think? So my ah, map is really, right? It's what do they want you to think? They've got to, you've got to tell me what it is you want me to think about you ah. and what it is that you're good at and how you can add value to this organization that I have. So people are just slapping a resume out. They're not thinking about adding value, nugget number two from you. That's right. Adding value. I, absolutely adding value. Tell me what you're good at and what you're going to do for me. The other thing is people don't think about the organizations that they're going to work for. Yeah. So they kind of wait to be chosen and see if there's somebody likes them, whereas they should be thinking about a more finite number of organizations that they want to work for and go to those companies. There are so many jobs that are never posted ah. that people need to be inquiring about, but armed with the tools that say, this is who I am, this is what I can do, this is what my resume is, I'm here for you. Certainly there are more online tools out there than there have ever been. What percentage of time should people spend online versus yeah, I, doing these other I tactics? feel strongly that 10% of your time should be spent online applying to jobs. Just now, 10%? That's it, because that's really all that get people get chosen. 10% of jobs get placed through online. That's it. So 90% of our energy should go where? Networking. Good old-fashioned networking. Good old-fashioned networking, but you can leverage some of the social media to get at some of the networking. Ah. LinkedIn, Facebook, go in, identify some people that you want to know at those companies that you've targeted, Right. and then you can start talking about finding, creating opportunities for yourself. So you go to LinkedIn, you write somebody a message, you're the president of a company, don't you want to hire me? Here's my resume, and they slap it in there, okay? Oh, or no, or not so good. You need to refine it? How you need you to refine, refine it? it? Well. Yeah. And you figure out your own network. So make sure that you're connected to all the possible people in your alumni association, all your past jobs, all your parents' friends. Get connected that way. And then LinkedIn will help you sort of connect some of the dots about other people that you might want to know. And then you develop this a little better pitch than just, don't you want to hire me? And you told me on the break, you said, even when you first, first started, you went out there and said, I, w I want to try to get the informational interviews. Still sure a place did. for that? Absolutely a place for that. Informational interviews are great because you're not hitting somebody up with, I need a job, but you're finding out and you're getting smart about possible jobs that you might have to know whether or not this is even right for you. And it's a good test case for you to kind of pitch your own wares to this person that you're interviewing with. Safe interview. So now I know you have the book and the book's on the way. and. Uh, there are people who are looking for jobs. What about people who already have jobs and not necessarily thinking about it right now? Is it It's still absolutely paper? relevant. And that was one of the things as an executive recruiter working with senior level executives, I often found that people were clueless. They might have been very successful, but when it came time for them to think about what's my next move going to be or I got laid off, they were frozen during the headlights. <laughs> so this is what, uh, why I put together this map. It's good for people who are 20 or people who are 60 trying to figure out which way to go. It helps you chart for yourself, where it is you're going to go. Yes, we need that roadmap. We do. Now, this is a crowded field. There are a lot of books on the market. And I know that. You told me that. 
but you said it's different. It All is right? different. So you're in the hot seat. How's it different? It's different because it's a process. It's sort of like a diet, but it's only as good as what you do. Oh. So you need to go through the steps. There's a sequence. The important and there's no action on the part of you. Us. That's right. We have to actually follow. You're laying on a roadmap, but we must follow it. You've got to do it. You've got to look in the mirror, do that harsh scrutiny, um, work with your friends, and you know, come clean with yourself to lay it out and make put a stake in the ground. Create some choices and decide what it is that you want. So, okay, you have this extensive experience, but what was the point where you said, you know what, there is a book, I just, I have to write a book. Well, it had to do with a lot about my background because I couldn't decide what I wanted to do. I could do any number of things. I was intelligent enough to do it. I was driven enough to do it. But I wanted to help others based on everything that I learned. And so this is my calling. And now my goal is to be the Susie Orman in the career space. I just am not going to say girlfriend. She won't say girlfriend. I she promise. won't say it. We love it. The book is coming soon. Yes. Ginny Clark, is there a website we can find you? Yes, I know you is. speak in front of audiences, and, uh, and certainly anybody who's watching right now may want to bring you in as a speaker or work love with it. you personally. Yep. Said the Chicago area. The website. MyCareerMapping.com or GinnyClark.com, G-I-N-N-Y-C-L-A-R-K-E. Ginny Clark, thank you for being thank here today. Thank you so much. Thanks. It's good to see you.